Hi. I tried to write some instructions to show a little bit about how you use QGIS software, which is what you're seeing now. And it was a nightmare trying to write those instructions, whereas hopefully a video is much easier. So what I'm going to try and do is add some satellite imagery to this window and then we'll save the project, add a new GIS layer called a shapefile and add some of our own polygons to that shapefile. And that's all we're going to try and do. So to start with, we want the satellite imagery. And there's a useful plugin you can do you get to help you. So press the plugins button, manage and install plugins, make sure you've got this all tab, and then start typing the word open layers. And you should see open layers. Let's do it. Open and open layers plugin, that one is the one you want. Install plugin. And that's it. Close that. So what we should now find is underneath this web link, we have this new link here, open layers plugin. And it gives you access to all these lovely map services. And we're going to use Bing Maps and we're going to take a look at Bing Aerial with labels. So after a short delay, this should import a view of the whole world. And there it is. So let's zoom into the UK. That's the zoom tool. And just gradually zoom in to part of Scotland. Somewhere here. That'll do. Let's go in just a little bit more. Just pan it a touch. Just get a bit of peninsula. Okay, so we've kind of started to set our project up. I don't want to have to do that again, so let's save the project now. So we press project, save, and it will pop up um, this file dialog. And I want to save it in documents, QGIS, and let's have a new folder. So I right click in this area, new folder and give it a name test work for want of a better name and we navigate into there and finally save it um, my proj not very imaginative save so every time now when we open QGIS we can go project open and navigate to that project and it will open up where we left off so we want to add a GIS layer to this now with our own polygons that we're going to create, our own boundaries. And so what we need to do is to go to layer, create layer, and it's new shapefile layer is the option we want. First thing you need to choose is what sort. Do you want point, line or polygon? Well, we want to draw polygons, so we'll set that. It's also useful to specify the CRS, which is the co Coordinate Reference System, because we really want to save the data as British National Grid. And if you don't know much about that, don't worry, but that's what we'll do. So I've pressed that uh, button to get this dialog up. And in the filter, let's type British National Grid. And you'll see down the bottom here some of the results from that. And we want this one, British National Grid EPSG 27700. Don't worry about it, just pick it and press OK. So now all our data will be nicely on the British National Grid, which is what all the Ordnance Survey maps are that you use. And a bit like a spreadsheet, a, sheet, a spreadsheet, our layer can have columns in it where we can add data like names and IDs. So let's add a column and call it uh, region, I was going to say region there, just call it region. So type in there, add attributes to list. So we've got an ID column that it's put in there for us and we've got a region. Press OK. It's asking us for somewhere to save it and I actually want to go to documents, QGIS, test work, um, my test, let's not put any spaces on, my test layer, 
save. Right, what you can see now is over here in the legend it's added my test layer. What we want to do is make that editable and we do that by right clicking on the layer and do toggle editing and you'll see a small pencil has appeared there and all that means now is that some of the tools that were greyed out are now available to us and we can start drawing polygons so the one tool I want to use is this one which is add feature and that's where we start to draw polygons so I clicked add feature you can see the cursors change to this little circle with some crosshairs and you can start drawing your polygon tracing around whatever it is you want to trace around from the background so let's get a little bit of coastline and drop down and go around this lake and that kind of thing and obviously this is where um, you need a bit of care and it's a whole subject in itself digitizing but we'll get this first one done when we ha have about finished we can right click which is what I did just there give it an ID and give it a, a name let's call it North Coast OK and it's added it, added it. so let's add a second one uh, let's do an adjacent ish polygon now you can probably snap in fact I'm sure you can snap these the edges of these polygons together and I'll have a look at that for another video but for now let's just quickly put a couple of polygons in uh, south coast well, it's not really the coast but anyway so there we are but you got to be careful at the moment because you haven't saved any of your work you need to right click on that layer again press the toggle editing and that will turn it off and it will say to you do you want to save what you've just done and definitely obviously if you want to press save and that's it done this layer this this shape file um, contains all the digitizing work that you've done you can actually find that shape file if you go into the place where you saved it obviously and uh, to look QGIS test work and this is that shape file uh, I think that's enough that'll do hope that helps good luck Oh, let's save the project. Project. Save. Good practice.